Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and a little story that uh, is a little the behind the scenes of the Build 2024 conference that happened, uh, well, it's finishing today. And uh, that is quite interesting. Um, we know that when there's keynotes and there's, you know, events like this, uh, there could be some last minute changes to all of it. And something interesting happened. Uh, it seems that Microsoft kind of um, made a little bit, uh, you know, like made Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA a little mad. And this all due to the keynote, uh, the opening keynote. There was talk that Intel was going to be there, and they made last-minute changes, and they said that apparently they just told the Intel guys that showed up, hey, uh, we changed our plans, you're not there anymore, and kind of stripped them of their badge and like, go away. Uh, that's not a good way to do business, and if it happened for real, and apparently it did, uh, this is very, very unacceptable and shows how Microsoft is its own thing and just wants to be doing what they want and doesn't care about, you know, not just the users. We often say it seems that Microsoft doesn't care about the users. Uh, well, it doesn't care about its partners from what we see also. Um, Apparently, also, the other story about how um, they kind of made Qualcomm a little mad is that in the keynote and talking about, you know, the future of Windows with the uh, recall feature and AI Explorer, or which was is now recall, and all the new features and all the brand new PCs, but they actually, it was almost the end of the keynote when they mentioned the Snapdragon X series that would be powering of these PCs. And apparently, Qualcomm didn't like that, saying, well, we're behind almost every everything that you've talked about and that you are going to talk about during Belt. And you give us a little brief announcement just like, you know, almost at the end of the keynote. That's kind of not cool. And to top it off, they ignored NVIDIA and NVIDIA wanted to kind of say, well, you know, the uh, Qualcomm CPU might be very powerful, but we have the most powerful chips that are way more powerful than what Qualcomm does. And uh, they got mad because there is no mention of anything NVIDIA. So this is the way Microsoft is right now for everything, including with its partners, which isn't cool. The other thing that is interesting is, are we going through, you know, in Windows 11, we had a minimum requirement that stunned a lot of people that didn't understand why and left a lot of people behind. Of course, unsupported still works. You could still use an older PC, but the question is, what are they actually thinking about the next couple of years? And it's an interesting thought here because the push towards ARM and all of that is so powerful. What will Windows 11 do within the next couple of years? And could there be a Windows 12 that if you don't have an NPU, you're left behind? If that be the case, you'd leave every x64 machine pretty much behind. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting thing to look at. Um, are we going towards a revolution that is going to force us to have new PCs, uh, even for people that have PCs are not that old? Uh, this is going to be an interesting one to see. And if they do have two very separate Windows 11 operating systems, one for ARM with the NPU for the AI stuff, and one more down-to-earth Windows for everybody else, how long will they support both of them? They will have to abandon one at some point. So these are all question, unanswered questions, and it's kind of an interesting time. And it's also an interesting time where you're in, maybe their own strategy might, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's going to drive PC sales. How about if it scares people away and they're not sure what to buy anymore? That could be another question. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.